Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Gina Mortensen. And I'm Kevin Mortensen. And we are here with our kids today, all four of them. <laughs> we brought them all. <laughs> it's no secret that the kids are out of school. Everybody's kind of being socially responsible. You're staying in your homes. Kids are doing school at home. How's that going? <laughs> Let's just say I'm not a school teacher. They'll do well in math, but <laughs> English? You know, I talked to my friend Chad who owns the Southern Utah Adventure Center and asked him, if, first off, if he's staying in business, if they're staying open or how this is all affecting them. And he went down the kind of the list of everything they're doing to protect their customers, to prepare the machines. And I thought, you know, this is actually a pretty safe place where I could comfortably bring my family. Well, I want to find out what they've been doing. But more importantly, I want to get these kids out on a trail and out of my house. I agree. And so let's go find out what they've been doing to protect us and make it so that you can enjoy these trails just like we are today. Here at Southern Utah Adventure Center, we offer UTV rentals, dirt bike rentals, uh, personal watercraft, boats, uh, mountain bikes, and stand-up paddle boards. Before doing this business, me and my business partner loved riding ATVs, dirt bikes, loved camping, and just started it from there. All the machines, when they come back, we uh, are cleaning and sterilizing steering wheels, shifters, doors, seats, helmets that get used, they get disassembled and washed. Just please make sure uh, if, if anyone in the family or has any kind of a sickness, cold, cough, Unfortunately, probably don't come in, so we don't take a chance of spreading. Make sure you're keeping your equipment clean and sanitized. Just respect others, keep your distance. You know, the six foot rule. Um, that way everyone can, we can keep everything still open and having a good time for everybody. So one of the things we're learning with what's going on in the world is the importance of hygiene. And these guys have always done that. They, they always keep their machines clean, they keep their helmets clean, and they really want us to come out here and have a great ride. It's nice to know that this is just a common practice, but yet emphasized a little bit more right now for our families to be safe and to get out and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. We didn't have this this morning, and it's gorgeous right now. So no place I'd rather be than out here, definitely not teaching kids. And we don't want to be cliche about social distancing, but look, this is social distancing. We're in a safe place for breathing clean air. We've got our kids outdoors. We're in a sanitized machine. We're clean. We're having a great time. You're absolutely right. But while we're out here enjoying this beautiful place, let's send you to this week's Where To. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. Look at those kids up there having a good time. They're having a blast out here. I know, it's a beautiful day and a wonderful place to be. And I just can't think of a better place to spend a Saturday. We had, we've been on the rock crawling side of this trail. Yes, we spent a lot of fun um, going really fast in the sand, but <laughs> the rocks, a little technical, it's right? kind of my fun. <laughs> I, you know, I grew up on the sand dunes and, and, and riding Yamaha banshees and ripping up the sand dunes, but the rock crawling is a new thing to me for from you know living in Utah, and it's just different. It, it is. It's just a different experience. Same machine, different experience. You know, if you ever want to get out here and see this area, you and you and you're a little nervous about it, our friends at the Southern Utah Adventure Center have guides. They know their way around, and our guide from Southern Utah Adventure Center has taken us on some really great lines today. He started off on the dunes. Had a lot of fun ripping it out there. Now he's got us on the backside on the rocks and the technical stuff. Let's go check it out. I like being able to bring people out here just because it's second nature to me, but for somebody else that's never done it before, they feel like they're in good hands. Today, we did a little bit of different riding. We started off in the sand dunes. Definitely pick up a little bit more speed through there. It's fun, you got sand berms, some whoops. Uh, it's definitely a fast paced area. Uh, we worked our way up into some pretty extreme rock crawling, you know. Uh, we got to the feature called the Squeeze. It's just a narrow slot canyon. So driving through the Squeeze, definitely a tight fit. Uh, the machines barely make it. You got to keep all your arms uh, inside the vehicle. So after the Squeeze, we got to some big ledges that you definitely got to pick a right line on there or else 
you'd have to find yourself flipping over. You know, when the tire comes off the ground, everybody kind of grabs onto their handholds. So when people start going down the obstacles, they can compare it to like a roller coaster. Uh, you get the butterfly effect in your stomach. You guys just come on down to Southern Utah Adventure Center. We can take you out on a ride. You'll have a blast. If you think that looked amazing, you should come here and try it yourself. Yeah, no kidding. Call our friends at the Adventure Center down in Hurricane. Get a machine or bring your own machine down here. You know, the one thing I've noticed is that everywhere we go, there's been a view. Beautiful, gorgeous view. <laughs> because that's St. George. Back over there is Warner Valley. Right over there is the sand dunes in the lake. And it's just amazing. I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what's over that hill. Well... Why don't we go check that out and the rest of you can go to Our Along the Way, which is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We've been following Braden around all day today and you want to know what? I, I think it's time we decide and find out who's the better driver. Are you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it, man. Bring it on. Well, I'm chalking that up to home field advantage. He's clearly the better driver and he won that one. Let's send you guys off to check out, speaking of winners, who who's taking home this week's sticker winner prize. This week's contest winner was spotted a few weeks back and his license plate number 29CU4X4. And it looks like they're the lucky winner of a Safari LT portable battery from Lion Energy. Lion Energy provides the best portable power on the market. Visit lionenergy.com for more details. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now, we want to show you how to get out and recreate during these challenging times. The governor is asking you stay home and stay safe from now till April 13th. However, travel to engage in recreational and outdoor